Hello, my name is Kristen Craig Carrion, and I'm from the Orlando, Florida area. Welcome to Drawing with Craig. I'll be creating content surrounding art and how I use different techniques in my art. This video is displaying the beginning parts of a painting. Since I don't have a proper studio set up, I'm going to be using this image here. As far as tools, I'm using a Wacom Cintiq 27 and software is Coral Painter 21. In this video, I'm just creating a baseline art for the portrait. I start out by defining the basic shapes. That's circles, squares, and cylinders. During this, I'll establish measurements by drawing the vertical lines first and then moving outward. I find it important to make sure the angles and measurements are as accurate as possible. Otherwise, you'll never achieve a likeness. There are many different methods to getting the measurements correct. This process, in my experience, is easier when digital on drawing because you're able to control Z everything if you screw up. You can even fix the angles and measurements on the fly. And in my opinion, relying on this could be a crutch. I think working to get a single line strokes should be a skill to develop. Now that's not to mean you should never use these tools because it certainly helps to make the process easier. Even in this video, you can see me using some of this. I've used things like proportional dividers and grids Really focusing on drawing has made it easier not to rely on them as often. As I alluded to before, using these tools are not considered cheating in my book, and the end result is what really what most people care about. As the drawing progresses, you'll notice some of the line work resembles odd shapes and symbols. You can see these in the chin and the left side of the nose. This is known as the terminator line, which is described as where the light meets the dark. In regards to lines, the thickness and weight are important to giving the drawing more character. Every line shouldn't be the same width. At this point, you're probably tired of listening to me, so I'm gonna let this video speak for itself. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit additional info on some of the tools used in the video. I'm using a brush called the Cover Pencil. I like it because it works well with the pressure of the pen, giving you some control over the opacity. 
Opacity being a range between opaque and transparent. Opaque meaning not being able to see through and transparent meaning allowing light to pass through so objects can be seen. I'll go over opacity in another video to get more detail. The white lines are loose areas indicating the highlight, which is determined by the light source. On this model, the light source is coming from the front left side of the subject. Knowing your light source is really key. It actually determines everything from color and value. Always remember to keep things simple in the beginning. And I'm talking about the basic shapes of the object you're drawing. Try to identify the dark and light family and from that establish your basic shapes. Keep it large and simple in the beginning. Also getting your measurements done in the early stages really helps. I've done it myself. You get so far along into the painting and you didn't take the time to measure and get all the angles correct from the beginning stages. At that point, I usually end up starting over. And for me, at least, I hate having to start over. It seems like a waste, but I've noticed that on my second or third try, I make a superior version and will have better ideas to the first version. This happens if I have a power outage or something I forget to save. It's happened several times. I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of went all over the place. I need to work on that more. Like or dislike and subscribe below. I also have social media links and my products on Etsy if you're interested.